Hi there, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about AWS EC2 Image Builder and what are the new things being introduced to this image builder and how we can utilize it and what are the basic advantages and all. So I'll be discussing it about the image builder. So just a quick introduction about it. So image builder, it's a fully managed AWS service that help us to like uh, automate the creation, management and deployment of our customized images, also known as golden server images that we can uh, pre-install or pre-configure some softwares, whatever like JDK or whatever your framework you want to install it. So you can just install it, pre-install it. So your image is ready to go, you know, you can just start using this uh, server and it is like uh, already those services are already being installed in that particular system. So, and moreover, it is like a secure, we can have it. And we can also control the versions, which versions are being utilized in those images and all. So I will just go through a quick demo in which I will show you how we can access this image builder and how to create an image pipeline that will help us to update our image also. It's not like that once you created the image, you cannot update, but it's, it's just like a pipeline. You can uh, keep on updating the, you can keep on adding uh, some services and all, and you can update the uh, your pipeline. Once you build it, it will create a new image. That version of image, you can utilize it in your new EC2 instances. So and there is a documentation also there, very nice documentation. Again, uh, three things are there. Either you go through a CLI or you go through a console or you go through the API. So I'll just go through the console. Uh, all the instructions are given over here. You can... Okay, so this is the documentation. Documentation. I will just provide you the, uh, in the video description the link of this. So you can utilize this image builder. Either you can use it like a uh, like a two image builder, like through the GUI and what are the instructions given, and you can manage the images, or you can have a EC two image builder API reference. So it defines you all the API operations and provide you with the sample request that need to be sent and what response you will be getting and in case of any errors and what are the various supported uh, protocols, web services protocol. And you can also go ahead with the EC2 image build a CLI. So choice is yours. You can just click on that and you can get a detailed instruction on it. So I'll just go back to my console. So I have already opened this image builder. You can see there is a no pipeline. First, we need to create a pipeline for it. So you can you can see this is a new feature being added recently, I think uh, two, three days back. Uh, you can create and manage lifecycle policies of the images. Sometimes some images are there that uh, you need to uh, like, you know, discard it or there is some timeline. After that, you are not supposed to use it or it was just being utilized for some training purpose or something. So we can discard those AMIs. So those images related to the AMIs. So, so this is the pipeline over here. Uh, so in this pipeline, when you click on this create image pipeline, so we'll put the pipeline name. Now you can see these are the five steps over here. You specify the pipeline details, you choose the recipe. So here it is called the recipe, uh, like uh, which uh, image and all which version you'll be using. Then you can see there are two optional options over here define infrastructure configuration and define distribution settings. And then the last there is a review. So just let's put the pipeline name. So I'm just putting my name. So you can just put a description if you want it. And you can see enable enhanced metadata collection. If you want it, you can just enable it. And you can see, uh, I will not go ahead with the schedule builder. Like you can set up a, like at what, which frequency, what frequency you want your image to be built up. Like um, you can define the frequency and all. So it will run the pipeline in that particular schedule and it, it will create a new image. So you can also have a cron expression. Like it will automatically run the pipeline with using some syntax specifies the timeline and intervals when it should be running. But I will go ahead with manually. So I'll run by pipeline manually. So these are the optional tags. Just click on the next. So use an existing recipe or create a new recipe. I'll just go ahead with a new recipe. 
And again, you can see that we have the two options over here. Either you can go ahead with the AMI or a Docker image. So I will just go ahead with the AMI and I will just put my, so if you have some images in the Docker Hub, you can just, you can click over here and you need to provide the recipe name and you go, you need to provide the base images and all. So you need to put your credentials so you can see Docker Hub image. So if it's the ECR, some container registry is there, you can just pull it out from there. This choice is yours. So, but I will go ahead with this one. So in order to make you understand easily, like in the same one, otherwise you have to create a Docker Hub, like a set up a uh, separate account and all, and what are the public images that also we can use it. So here I'm just using one, a name, uh, ECEIPE -E recipe. So just put a version over here, let's say 1.0.0. So you can define like, you know, major and minor patches and all. So this, uh, like you can just go through it. If it is a, a major, you just change it for a two point something, like if it is a minor or if it is a patch. So accordingly, there's three values changes. So you can just have a look, you can just Google it out and you can just put it the versioning and all. Okay, so now, Select manage images. So we will go ahead with the manage images that is being uh, managed by the, or provided by AWS. So you can see we have the Amazon Linux. We can go with the marketplace. We can have a custom AMI ID if you want it. or import some base image from your VM over here that maybe you have created or you have taken a snapshot or something. So you can just bring it over here also. It's quite flexible. You can fully have your own image built up. So you can see I'm choosing over here, Amazon Linux 2 and 2023. So quick start, uh, select the image. So I'll just go ahead with, uh, let's say, let's say x86. So use latest OS version. And I don't want SSM agent. I don't want any system manager or something like that. Here you can see that sometimes you might have seen my in old videos like how we can uh, run a web server and also we can have a user data like, you know, uh, we can run a Apache server in order to host our application and also you can just provide the user data over here if you want. So currently I'm not providing any user data. And then this is a working directory. Let it be by default, let it be whatever it is coming over here. Now here is the most important thing. What are the components that you want to have it? So basically are the software scripts that define the custom configuration for the images if you want. And we can have automatic version choices also provided for each component. So maximum total, like you can have a maximum of 20 components. But for this Amazon Linux, we have only 15 components that are being listed over here. So if you want certain like a get update or something like that, we can define in the user data and you can get it get it installed that particular version so you can see we have a uh, corrector jdk we have this docker and all so i will just choose a simple let's say let's say aws cli version 2 linux should be installed on that particular image and that's it so these are the optional select tests that you want to verify that whether it's uh, working or not so i'm not just i'm not going through this one it's optional and that's all. So you can see the EBS volume by default. Uh, this is 8 GB. You can just change it to something else if you want to increase the size and all. It's your wish. And then click next. So you can see over here, create infrastructure, use existing. So I will use a new infrastructure. So I'll just I, I won't change anything. I will just go ahead with the next, next, and all. That's it. And here you can see uh, distribution. Again, this one is a uh, like uh, option. So it includes the specific regions where you want your image to be available, launch permissions. So it's it's quite in depth in this things like where you want to define the distribution of your image. Okay, so that's all. I think some issues are there. Oh, let's see. Okay, anyways, no issues. We can remove it later also once the image is built. So you can see the create pipeline option. It will just create a pipeline. Okay, that's it. 
So our pipeline is ready. So here it is. So we need to choose this one and go to the actions and run the pipeline. It will take some time in order to create your image. You can get inside it and you can just have a look into it. So build enable. I think I clicked or not. Okay, yeah, see, you can see over here, building. So this is how it's going to build it. So this is the image recipe. I didn't uh, enable the instance configuration. Even bridge rules. Output image will be this one. Okay. So that's the ARN. So once you click on this, so that's your recipe name that you have cooked. So we, we should have in the instance this particular recipe. So it will take some time. We'll just wait for a few minutes. It takes around like five to 10 minutes. So I'll come back again and then see the base status should be available to use. Okay, welcome back. So you can see our image status is available. It, it will go through like uh, building, testing, then distributing and integration. So basically it runs up like to a C2 instance to our build our image and test the image. So that's why the, the various phases are there. You can also go through this. Uh, this is our pipeline and you can just, you can see it's testing showing it's just our refresh this one. So you can just click on this. This took around like 10 to 15 minutes. So you can just have a look into the workflow. So these are the steps basically. Launch build instance, apply build components, inventory collection, this is this, and then terminating the build instance. So. Uh, this is the image that we have, and JAS recipe, 1010. So, and this is our image builder. So if you go to the image pipelines, so this is our pipeline. So whenever you want, you can just choose this one and you can, you know, you can just scroll through it and you can uh, run this pipeline. So now uh, if you go to the dashboard over here, you can see over here a number of instances that is running over here. So basically, okay, it's being already being terminated. So if you see, it's terminating. So basically build instance for this and the test instance. So basically it do, performs both the things on your image. Now, if you go to the EC2 dashboard, so no need to worry whether it's deleting this instances or not, it will automatically delete. So even the volume, once we delete the image and all, it will be automatically deleted this volume. So let's uh, let's launch an instance. So I'll just put it over here, my EC2. So here, I will choose my AMIs owned by me. You can see it's automatically showing over here. So this is how uh, like you can launch your instance and it will be having the AWS CLI installed. So you can click on the launch and it will automatically be created using that custom image. That's all. You can just run it and you can just verify whether it's having the CLI too or not. So just I just wanted to show that. And you can see over here the new thing that is being added over here that is a lifecycle policy. So we can create a lifecycle policy over here. So the AMI image, the policy name. This is the latest feature that is being added to this image builder. And you can activate, you can choose AMI role. Let's say this one. And what are the recipes that you're having? I'm having only one recipe. 
So deprecate rule, disable rule, delete rule, these are the different rules that you can create it. Like suppose if you want to make a disable rule, so the count number of images after utilizing it, like uh, enter the number after how many months, you can define, you can also choose the uh, unit as number of days, weeks, and years. And if this is for disabling, and similarly for deleting, you can also have it by age, number of years, months, days, and weeks. Retain the number of images that you want to have it or recipe. So this is how, this is a new thing that is being added in the image builder. It's quite handy. So we can also deregister, we can delete the snapshots, we can retain the images. So all those things, after that, you can create a policy. So that's how you can utilize this life cycle policy for the image builder. So once you're finished up with everything, just go to this one and just go to the uh, images and you can just, you can see over here, shared by me, you can just go to the image builder and you can just remove it in order to avoid any billing and all. So just you can click actions. You can delete the pipeline. And you can just check over here image recipes. You can select this your image recipe and you can just delete your recipe. That is basically the AMI that we are creating, that is the recipe that we are cooking up. Okay, so we don't have any container recipe because we didn't choose anything. We don't have any life cycle policy because we didn't create it. So any components, nothing is there, all clear. Even you can just cross check over here. If you have any of the uh, like the components, so you can just click back over here, images, Okay, so it's showing over you over here. Let me click here. Sometimes it takes time to delete it. Okay, so you can see we can uh, deregister, delete any snapshots. And I can choose over here the role and just put over here confirm. And that's all. So we can also get it back, recover it back from the recycle bin, but it's not required. So you can see delete process have started. So it will uh, remove it associated AMI snapshot. It will take some, some time to uh, get removed. So that's all. So we will, we can just go back to our EC2 over here. It, it stopped showing, it will stop showing us the, our, the images. So this is how you can utilize this, uh, EC2 image builder and how you can utilize the uh, lifecycle policies that has been recently put in place for the EC2 image builder. So you can utilize it and you if you see if, uh, if you found something else like being spin up because this volume was being created for the for that particular image, it is being automatically being removed. So no nothing to worry. You can check your dashboard after several hours. So you can see it should be all zero 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 in order to avoid any billing. I hope you liked my video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.